wow this is how you know i haven't done makeup in a long time i feel like i should be in a fancy ad i'm not gonna lie to you somebody at our sis rihanna and tell her that i'm ready here i'm ready whenever she is i'm ready for her now, how do they pose like <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today i have a makeup video for you guys i haven't done makeup in so long and when i say makeup i don't mean a makeup video i mean makeup in in life i just haven't done makeup in so long and i recently got hold of the fenty um cream blush and cream bronzer collection um so yeah i thought it was perfect timing to sort of do my makeup for the first time in ages and also sort of review some products as well at the same time and just before we get into the video though i know you guys can see my nails and you're thinking um it's quarantine how's she getting her nails done you know let me bring you in okay um if you guys don't know i'm a nail technician and i recently launched my um press on about two weeks ago two weeks and a couple of days and take them in they could be mistaken for acrylics in my opinion but yeah all information about my business is down below in the description box my instagram email etc if you want to check it out make sure you do and yeah without any further rambling let's get into this video okay guys i oh girl no we ain't gonna do that we ain't gonna do that we ain't gonna do that okay so this is me all fresh faced i've done my eyebrows and i've stuck on my eyelashes so i'm gonna start off with my primer and i'm gonna be using my fenty beauty pro filter matte primer and i don't do too much literally just a couple pumps on my face and this just blurs like all my um pores and stuff like that and it's also a matte primer so it mattifies and fills in my pores at the same time that's why i really like it and yeah it goes really well like with the foundation that i'm about to use i find i don't know if you can see but that's already sort of like mattified me nicely and also just by the way can we just try and ignore these two spots that decided to you know make an appearance for this video it's always when i'm about to film that you know my face just decides you know what we need some company how about we bring some spots along you know it's annoying but we move and just on my forehead and then on my nose and just blend it out with my finger okay so now that that's on i'm going to be putting on my foundation and this is literally my go to all time favorite ever foundation ever since i discovered this foundation there's been no going back for me and it's my nars natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade zambi and see this is the thing with me and this foundation yeah i'm in the shade zambi but every single girl that i've seen on youtube that's similar to my skin tone they use namibia i think it's called i'm not too sure they all use Namibia and I'm thinking, am I, did I get the wrong colour? Did I, like, I'm so confused. But yeah, I think I make it work. You guys let me know what you think. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few pumps on my face. And I'm just using this stippling brush from Amazon to start brushing that in a downwards motion. And I just find that brushing it down instead of up gives you like a smoother um sort of application just because your hair grows downwards and not upwards so if you follow that the direction of the hair growth then your foundation will apply a lot smoother just a tip for you guys so next for my concealer i'm going to be using my nars creamy radiant is it creamy radiant or radiant creamy radiant creamy concealer and this is in the shade amande okay now i'm just gonna go in with my fenty beauty wow the state of this thing is just bloody awful Fuck. let me just wipe that down very quickly i literally haven't worn my makeup in so long so it's literally been collecting dust like literally collecting dust so i'm having to wipe everything down like 
that's a bit embarrassing if I'm honest. I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and it's in the shade Ebony. And I feel like with my contour, the higher I bring it up, the better it works. Like I used to like draw my contour like down here and I'm looking back at my videos thinking like, where are you taking it to? Like, girl, like bring it up, shit. Like the higher you bring it, I feel like the better it works. I'm just gonna bring it around the temples of my face. And I'm just gonna go in with a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. I'm also bringing it down to like the side of my nose to give it like a reverse contour. That blend is just imp impeccable, impeccable. I'm just gonna go ahead and wet that sponge again and do the same on this side. Next, I'm gonna take the back of a beauty blender and just spray that again. And I'm gonna blend out my contour. And I'm literally just tapping it, not moving it or sliding it or, you know, just being aggressive. Literally just tapping on it up and down until I'm happy with the blend. I'm gonna take it up the sides. Guys, I forgot to blend out my nose and my forehead and my chin. Wow. This is how you know I haven't done makeup in a long time. Like, the girl is just doing anything anyhow. I can't even believe. Anyway, we'll get to that. We will get to that. Okay, I'm more or less happy with that. I'm gonna go in and wet my concealer sponge and go back in and blend out my chin. I'm just sort of blending that out around here as well, just to make sure everything is nice and blended out nicely and not there's no like harsh lines or anything like that. Next, I'm just gonna set my face and I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade medium deep. And I like to use this flat edged um, Fenty sponge because I feel like it just allows you to get in like every single crevice of like your eye, you know? So this is a really good sponge for baking. I say baking but really and truly I don't really bake like I put just as much as I need I don't like go overboard I don't do too much because I just feel like it's unnecessary you know and also I like to bring the powder close to like my the side of my nose just to give me like a nice reverse contour like so and I just take it down the bridge of my nose using the flat edge And my forehead, my chin. Hmm. For someone who hasn't done their makeup in a really long time, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And do you know what? These eyelashes are doing the damn thing for me as well. This is my first time trying these eyelashes out and I must say they are doing the damn thing. Like, shit. Shit. Where my buffer brush at? Where my buffer brush at? Okay, so now I'm just going to dust off that excess powder. I'm using my buffer brush by Real Techniques. Okay, so on to the fun part. My face is more or less done. Contour done. Now we're about to bronze. So with the bronzers, I got sent two shades and I think I know what shade will be, you know, suitable for me, but I'm just gonna show them both to you anyway. Oh. <clears throat> so these are the two bronzer shades that I got. The one on the right is Toffee Tees, which I believe will be the right shade for me. And this shade is chocolate. That's them together. I think this is just like one shade darker than this. 
um this is a lot cooler this is a lot warmer but yeah to apply this i'm just gonna go ahead and use a i'm not gonna lie to you i don't know what this brush is called i'm just using this fluffy brush and taking a bit of it onto my brush and i'm just gonna go ahead and just slightly tap that just like above my contour i'm just gonna go around the perimeter of my face so on first impression it's actually quite sheer like it's not a heavy product at all and i'm glad like i can't lie to you i was scared i've never ever in my life used a cream bronzer before i was a bit confused so i'm not gonna lie i had to watch you know a couple reviews and things just to see like how other people like used it oh this is nice and easy to use and i feel like it's buildable as well because it's so like sheer and like lightweight you can get away with like sort of starting off light and then building it up hmm. it's giving me that extra bit of warmth and just like chocolatey goodness like that's why i always say when i feel like a product is making me look nice and rich i say it's giving me that extra bit of chocolatey goodness and this is what this is doing for me sis can we just mm, 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 take it in take it in take it in take it in i look warm i look bronzed I look healthy, you know, my skin just looks healthy and I love it. This is a bit of me. I don't know if I'm like just too easily impressed because I don't really use bronzers like that. So I've used this and I'm like, whoa, but I like it. I like it. I've seen a lot of reviews where people are not too sure about it. But personally, like it makes me, it look, makes my skin look rich. Anything that makes my skin look rich, I'm here for. So, yeah. Okay, so next I'm just going to set those um, areas that I've just contoured and like bronzed with my, I'm even embarrassed to even say this anymore, honestly. I'm still using the sleek contour kit. Yes, guys. Like, I don't know. I just feel like if it's not broke, don't fix like if it's not brock don't fix so yeah i'm listen i don't want to hear it i'm using my sleek contour kit and i'm gonna say it with my chest okay no but seriously if anyone can recommend a good contour powder contour let me know down below because this like it's been it's been a, a good couple of years now and we're, we're still using the, um we're still using this contour but anyway so I'm just gonna lightly tap. Okay, so I'm just going back in with my buffer brush quickly because I just feel like the blend in this area could be a bit more seamless. So I'm just taking it and sort of like blending that area out. So it looks a bit more like airbrushed and not so like harsh. I feel like this is a really really good blending brush as well just by the way um yeah it just makes everything really seamless okay now i'm happy with that i'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face powder i'm using my mac mineralized skin finish powder in the shade dark deep Next, I'm just gonna highlight using my Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer and just a fluffy brush. Now, if you know me, you know that I love a shiny nose. Like, I don't care what anyone says. It's literally the cutest thing ever. I'm just taking some on my forehead. I don't really have a forehead, so I like to really emulate that area. Is that even the right word? Hey, Siri. What does emulate mean? Emulate means match or surpass a person or achievement typically by imitation. No, not the right word. <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say. I like to um, enhance that area, you know? And I've really gone off the whole highlight in the cheeks thing. Like, it's just, no. 
but no, it's 2020, like, I'm just so over it, so I don't really bother with that, so I'm just gonna go straight into the blushes, I'm excited. Okay, so with the cream blushes, I've been excited, literally, to try only one, I just feel like orange blush on dark skin handshake, hand in hand, literally, like, it is, yeah, I'm excited to try this. So this one is in the shade Fuego Flush, and it's literally this bright orange. I feel like the camera's making it look a, lo a lot darker than it actually is, but yeah. I'm just taking a fluffy blush brush and taking some product, and I'm hoping it's not too much. Please, like it's not even picking up. I'm literally just gonna dab that onto my cheek. I don't know if I'm not doing it correctly, but I can't really see anything. Or is it just extremely sheer? I feel like it's just a really sheer color. You know, I'm gonna take more product just to see what's going on, but I can't really see anything, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Oh, it's like the product is, my, my, my pimple is collecting all the products. Can you see? What's this? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I expected more like from this, um, from the blush. Like I feel like there's no pigment whatsoever. I feel like it's just making my cheek look very shiny. Um, I'm gonna try with the other cheek and see, but I literally can't see any color whatsoever. I don't know if you guys can see, but I can just see like a sheen. It's like a light sheen sort of thing. It's just giving me like a, a glow. I don't know. That is a bit disappointing because I was really excited to use this orange, thinking that it would come out really like orange, but it's really not anything, is it? It's like nothing at all. Yeah, there's literally nothing coming out, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I might have to go over it with a different colour maybe because this colour is not doing it for me at all. If anything, it's given me the highlight that I was trying to avoid. <laughs> um, so yeah, like it's just not what I expected it to be like as a blush. So I'm going to go ahead and use maybe a brighter colour, maybe like a bright pink or something just to go over that. But this, yeah, it's just giving me like a shine. I don't even know. So these are the two colours that I might potentially use. Either the red or the pink. I think I'll use the pink, yeah. The pink will be cutesy. I'm just gonna take a bit on my brush and see how that looks. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely showing up a bit more than the orange like you can see some color i'm gonna try a different technique on the other side just to see if it makes a difference i'm just gonna put some on my finger tap really lightly and then blend it out on my brush mm. maybe it was my technique then actually Maybe I should have just applied it straight onto my face and my finger and then blended it out of my brush. Because I definitely feel like you can see, or oh, am I tripping? Is it doing the same thing? You guys let me know what you think. I can't really tell. I do like it, but I feel like I could do without the shine that it's giving my cheeks right now. Like my cheeks are looking hella shiny. Um. So I might just go over that with a bit of powder just to dull the shine down a little bit because it's much and the way how I have like a spot over here as well it's not making it look pretty at all but yeah I'm just gonna go over that with my big fluffy brush just to dull that shine down a bit and hopefully that should do the trick and now I'm even feeling like maybe I should have done my setting spray before because now I'm gonna go over it with setting spray and it's gonna look even shinier like i'm quite worried i'm not gonna lie to you okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead and spray my face really quickly and to spray i'm using my urban decay all night spray 
Ooh. I'm just looking to see if the shine is going to reappear and I feel like it's coming. Like I need to wait for my spray to dry, but I feel like I can already see it coming through. Yeah guys, my face, my, my cheeks are shining again a little bit. I just, I'm not a fan of the whole shiny cheek thing, not gonna lie to you. Um, anyway, I'm gonna line my lips with my eyebrow pencil. This is my Rimmel eyebrow pencil in the shade dark, black brown, sorry. And I'm just gonna go over my lips with just a clear lip gloss from like the hair shop. Do you know what guys? I'm feeling extremely experimental today and I feel like I wanna try everyone Victoria's method of like contouring her lips. She basically just puts her contour like over her lips like this. It just makes them look a lot fuller. Oh! Sis! You did a thing. No, she did a thing. Yeah, Yvonne did a thing with this lip contour thing, boy. No, she, it's a discovery. Like, that is a discovery. Like, hmm. Ooh. Now I'm just gonna go in and put on my um, lip gloss by NYX and this is in the shade Praline. Wait, I'm lying, this is Madeline. And this is just such a pretty like light nude color. And I feel like it's like universal. No, it, it suits literally every shade of black. It's so pretty. And a trick that I like to use with my lip gloss, as you've probably already noticed, is using the clear lip gloss underneath the butter gloss. Because I feel like the butter gloss is quite, what's the word? It, it, it can disperse really easily. Like you move your lips small and then it's like it wants to scatter. So yeah, you basically put the clear lip gloss underneath it and it sort of sticks, it adheres to the um, the clear lip gloss and it just lasts a lot longer. But I only have that issue with this particular like lip gloss. So I just put some clear lip gloss underneath it and it lasts a lot longer. Okay, so for the last thing that I'm going to be reviewing, it's the Fenty Beauty Body Lava in the shade cognac candy and i'm excited for this one i'm not gonna lie to you because i've tested it like on my forearm and what i saw i was impressed by i'm not gonna lie to you uh so i'm just gonna be sort of just um you know shining my skin small with this one and as always packaging impeccable amazing so i'm just taking about two pumps rubbing that and I'm just bronzing my body. Ooh. I know Rihanna does like the whole, like the brush that comes with the body lavas, but I don't have that. So I'm going to be ghetto and just use my fingers to sort of just blend that in. <sighs> Guys, if you could smell this right now, it literally smells like, oh, like this could be a fragrance, as in this alone could be a fragrance. That's how good it smells. It smells so nice. I'm glistening. I am glistening. Mm. I feel like I should be in a Fenty ad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Somebody at our sis Rihanna and tell her that I'm ready. I'm ready whenever she is. I'm ready for her. I should be in a Fenty advert. I'm so sorry. Now, how did they pose that? Like? <laughs> oh no I'm joking um, Yeah I don't know if you guys can see But it's giving me a nice glow Not too overbearing Not too shiny 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 It's it's nice It's a nice glow I feel like it will look really nice In like natural sunlight You'd see it a lot better But obviously because I'm using my ring light You can't really see it as much But overall I do like how it looks um, but yeah, so this is my whole look completed. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on the products. So my final thoughts on the products, I feel like with the bronzer, 
I'm happy with the bronzer. I feel like it did the job of a bronzer for me. Like I said before, I don't really reach for bronzers much just because I can hardly find a contour shade for myself, let alone a good bronzer. So I tend to just stay away from bronzers altogether. But this bronzer, I feel like, did the job for me. Like I said before, anything that makes my skin look even richer than it already is, is a plus for me, is a thumbs up for me. And I feel like the bronzer did just that um yeah i'm really happy with it um in terms of shade match as well i'm really happy with it sis did a thing like she did a thing if anything the only thing perhaps that i could say about shade wise is maybe if it was a tiny bit more on the red side because when i think bronze i think more red undertones than cooler undertones so maybe perhaps if it was a little bit more red and gave me more like chocolatey goodness i'd perhaps be happier with that i mean that's if my my chocolate can get any better than this that is um but yeah no that is the only thing that i can say maybe if i like had to change it would be that um but apart from that i really do like the product i like how sheer it is as well because when i heard cream bronzer i was a bit skeptical not gonna lie to you i was thinking is it gonna be too thick yeah so i wasn't i wasn't too keen on it but it's so easy to use it's buildable i think it, it would be difficult to like go over the top with it if that makes sense like you've got to sort of build it up and yeah the blushes now on the other hand i'm a little bit disappointed with like i'm not sure about this whole shine and cheek business going on i feel like the whole cream aspect of the cream blush bit is what sis was really trying to emphasize but it's like the blush aspect is not really showing through like i don't see a lot of pigment and color which is kind of disappointing with the orange one i was really excited to try that out i put that on my instagram and yeah i was really excited to try the orange blush but it just didn't look like orange blush at all it just looked like a highlight which i'm not too yeah like it's just not my cup of tea and i also feel like with the whole shiny cheek thing like if i'm looking like this now then during the course of the day what what's going to happen i'm going to look like a natural grease ball maybe i didn't even use a product properly you guys let me know if there's like other techniques that you feel like i could try but yeah that's about it for this review video guys um let me know what you guys think um and if there are any other review videos or makeup videos or anything you guys want me to do let me know down below in the comments and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys